no sooner were the main speakers done with their prepared inputs than the chairperson of the ANC's International Relations Committee chipped in. Lindy Wazulu insists critics of the now infamous junket to Harare are wrong, both about how the trip was undertaken and what it achieved. Never mind all the other things that you hear. We, w we can tell you the frankness of that meeting, the honesty of that meeting, the issues that were raised, which were issues around the, the, the economies of the two countries, the security of the two countries, more than anything else, even about the people, the people-to-people -people relations. We were raising issues about dignity of people. We were raising issues about uh, uh, young girls who are here in Johannesburg who are running around chasing people and asking, can I please wash your car? Can I please do that? Young people who are supposed to be either at college or at school or something. The seminar's leading participant, one of Zimbabwe's foremost intellectuals, was having none of it. Zindiwe exaggerates the role of the post, the uh, formal liberation movements. Unnecessarily so, especially with start with regard to Zimbabwe. Um, and I, I, whether it's a public relations stance on her part to try and make peace with ZANU-PF, I don't know. But she must know, as we all know, that ZANU-PF is heavily dented as a party. It is an appendage of the military. But most important of all, that it is completely naive and self-indulgent on the part of anybody, including herself, to think that ZANU-PF can turn around the fortunes of Zimbabwe. The ANC is yet to pay back the money for using the Defence Force aircraft as its private jet, as it has promised to do. It has also still not arranged to meet any Zimbabwean political players other than ZANU-PF. Vuyamvoko, Johannesburg.